Hey guys, this is Bacon Chris here, and I'm here with another top 10. And this time I'm doing top my top 10 favorite dog breeds. And this is actually the different types of dogs. So if you hate any of these dog breeds, I respect your opinion. And number 10 is Beagle. And what I like about Beagles is Beagles are cute, but sometimes Beagles can do a lot of yapping. And I don't know too much about, you know, dog history or, you know, stuff like that. One reason I like about Beagles is one of the most famous be Beagles on cartoons, which is Snoopy from Peanuts. And I really like Snoopy because he's hilarious and, you know, he's not really, he doesn't really bark, but he does make some weird noises, hilarious noises like, <laughs> and um, Snoopy, what he likes to do is he likes to pretend his doghouse is an airplane and he likes to sleep on top of the doghouse most of the time instead of just sleeping inside. Snoopy is one smart dog and he's also a great mentor to Charlie Brown. I remember watching the Peanuts movie where Charlie Brown was um, dancing and Sno Snoopy actually helped him learn how to dance. And I remember watching in the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving, where um, Snoopy was actually a good cook. And Snoopy actually knew how to prepare dinner. Well, Thanksgiving turkey dinner, you know, at the end. At the end of the Charlie Brown special, so. I mean, in the beginning, Charlie Brown said that the only food he knows how to cook is toast. That was a good Thanksgiving special, and it was hilarious. Yep, that's the main reason, one of the main reasons why I like beagles, because of Snoopy. Number nine is Pomeranian. And Pomeranians are really like one of the fluffiest dogs. They do have a lot of fur and they actually look like uh, a big ball of fur. They have bushy tails and cute expressions and small paws. I actually did pet a Pomeranian before and it was so fluffy. One thing I like about Pomeranians is, um, I don't know what I like about it. Oh yeah, from one of my favorite movies from Illumination and Entertainment. There's this, they actually have two Illumination Entertainment movies. They're all the same. And the Pomeranian that I'm referring to is Gidget from The Secret Life of Pets and The Secret Life of Pets 2. Gidget is a very friendly, enthusiastic dog who is actually in love with the main character, Max who is an, another dog. Gidget is willing to do any anything to save Max and do anything for Max. And she also is in, interested in love TV shows. And the way Gidget gets angry is hilarious. She's like, Where is Max? Tell me! That was hilarious, actually. My sister actually loves Gidget. And that's her favorite Secret Life of Pets character. But my, I think one of my favorite Secret Life of Pets character is... I mean, I do like Snowball. He's hilarious. He's the rabbit. Voiced by Kevin Hart. And my favorite line by him is, is, Snakes asked him, what's the password? And 
He said the password. Look, I am your leader. I do not decide the password. The leader makes up the password, idiots. Let's think of a new password right now. The new password is don't ask the leader for the password. And I think my favorite is actually Mel, which is a pug. Which we'll get into soon. Number eight is a Siberian Husky. And what I like about these dogs, they're, they're really strong dogs. And their fur is soft. And I even like Siberian Huskies when they are like babies. I have a friend from college and she likes to take her Siberian Husky with her because she actually wants this dog to, to be a training dog. Maybe like a therapy dog or something. And I actually got to pet the dog. And the dog... And I asked that lady what she does when she's in class with the dog. And she tells me that the dog sleeps in class. That's kind of cute. One thing I like... Another thing I like about Siberian Huskies is that... Um, there's this YouTuber named Matt Gardia... Well, his YouTube channel is called Guardia23. And he actually has three dogs. Well, now it's two dogs. They're, two of the dogs are Siberian Huskies. And I don't know the other breed. I mean, the dogs' names are Mishka, Laika, and Moki. And Mishka was, like, one of the most popular dogs that he owned. And Mishka was able to talk. One of the most popular videos that Matt actually uploaded on his YouTube channel is Mishka saying, I love you. And I really love Mishka. Mishka is good at singing. And she's very friendly. She was actually on Good Morning America one time. And yeah. Unfortunately, Mishka died. I don't know what year, but it was really sad when I hear heard that Mishka died. Well, all dogs die. Yeah. Another Siber there's also two other Siberian dogs that I like, which is um by this YouTuber named Chili. And Chili is in love with another YouTuber that I like, Super Mario Logan. So you already heard about Logan Ferdy Acre, who is actually the guy who runs Super Mario Logan. His girlfriend's name is Chili Jimenez. I don't know what her real name is, so. Basically, Chili owns two dogs, Snowball and Blizzard. Snowball is all is an all white dog and Snowball's all is a girl. And what I like about Snowball is that she does the best howling ever. Because whenever Chili makes videos ending the blog vlog, she always says, Alright, Chili Peppers, it's time to go. But first, let's see Snowball. And then Snowball howls. And she also has another Siberian Husky named Blizzard. And Blizzard's cute too, but... Yeah. I like Blizzard as well. Both Chili and Super Mario Logan are, you know, good YouTubers that I watch, you know. Okay, number seven is the French Bulldog. And these dogs actually look at you in the cutest way ever. And, um, yeah. One thing that I like about French Bulldogs is that they have the pointiest ears. And they're usually the least aggressive Bulldogs ever created. By God. <laughs> so, yeah. I actually did get to pet a French Bulldog when I was at a Thanksgiving Day Parade. And the dog's name was Petunia. Which was really cute. 
one of my favorite YouTubers has two French Bulldogs, and her name is Rosanna Pansino. She is actually the most popular YouTuber on YouTube. And what she likes to do is she likes to do cooking and gaming on her channels. She has a cooking show called Nerdy Nummies, where they, which is a YouTube show where she takes requests from commenters about what type of cake to make, what type of cookies to make, etc. And what's on people's mind right now, whether it's um, Minecraft, Spongebob, Marvel, and all sorts of other stuff. I really enjoy watching Rosanna Pansino's videos. And, yeah. So, back to the dogs. She actually has two French Bulldogs. One dog's name is Cookie. And one, and she has another dog named Blueberry. And Cookie, you know, I like when Cookie sleeps. Cookie's a girl. I don't know if Blueberry's a boy. I think Blueberry's a girl. But I also like when Rosanna decides to dress her bulldog, dress her bulldog Cookie, you know, for Halloween. Like... One time, she actually put a French toast costume on Cookie, and it, it kind of did look cute. But I also like the Wonder Woman costume, and the Derby costume, and the Hot Dog costume. So yeah, French Bulldogs, yes. Number six is an American Pit Bull Terrier. I hear that these dogs are very aggressive. But not all pit bulls are aggressive. But what I like about pit bulls is pit bulls are smart dogs and you know, they're also rescue dogs too. One thing that I don't like that people do with pit bulls is that they use them as guard dogs and you know, whenever pit bulls, whenever you go near their area, they just bark really loud. And they actually... And some pit bulls, you know, injure people real bad. I heard that on the news. And also, one, some people let their pit bulls off a leash, which is kind of scary. But here's one good tip on how to avoid a pit bull coming near you. Whatever you do, don't stare at the dog or look at the dog. Because if you do the pit bull will feel frightened. Yeah. I did get to pet a pit bull before, and it wasn't that scary. The pit bulls that I petted were really friendly. And, yeah. Number five is an English bulldog. I mean, they're kind of similar to pit bulls a little bit, and... Pug dogs a little bit, but these dogs are really cute, and they are a bit chubby. And they do look very sad, but I do like dogs that look sad, too. Sometimes English bulldogs become big mascots of companies like Mugrupier. One time I got scared of an English Bulldog, but then the one owner said, don't worry, he won't bite. And you know what? I felt relief. I don't know if they're really that aggressive, but I mean, all dogs bite, so it depends on what you do to the dog. So the best way to pet a dog is, you know, give them your paw, and they smell, and then you can pet. But, all dogs have to be supervised, and, and if you're near a dog with an owner, before you ask to pet, before you pet it, it's best to ask, because you never might know dogs bite, so... Number four is a Yorkshire Terrier. 
and I hear that they have long hair or short hair. And these dogs are also known as Yorkies. And yes, I actually did get the pet, uh, Yorkshire Terrier, and they're very cute. What, one of my mom's friends used to have a Yorkie dog, and he was really cute, but unfortunately he had a lot of health problems like cancer, and I was really sad when that dog died. I also have, also one of my cousins used to have a Yorkie, but it actually got hit by a car, which was really sad, too. And, but the good news is, she actually got another dog similar to, or a dog that is a Yorkie, too, but... Yeah, it's really sad when when I see or hear about dogs that die. And yeah, one thing that I also like about Yorkies is one of my favorite celebrities actually has one. And her name is Jojo Siwa. And Jojo Siwa is one of my favorite singers of all time. So, she, her dog's name is Bobo, and Bobo is a girl. I really like watching JoJo Siwa's videos, and she actually included Bobo in some of her videos and merchandise. And there was a video that JoJo Siwa uploaded where she gives Bobo a bath. And I honestly like Jojo Siwa, to be honest. Jojo Siwa does not just YouTubing, but she also does a lot of singing. And she actually associates with Nickelodeon. Jojo Siwa sings good songs like Boomerang, Hold the Drama, and Kid in a Candy Store, which are all good songs. She also appeared on my least favorite TV show of all time. Well, not my number one, but Dance Moms. Yeah. Even though I didn't don't like Dance Moms, I still like JoJo C. Well, no matter what. Yeah, so her songs are really good. And yeah, Bobo is kind of cute. I think someone told me that these dogs are worth 600 bucks. I don't know if it's true or not. But, yeah. I apologize for technical difficulties. Okay, the number three is Labrador Retriever. And, yes, they are the cutest and most iconic dog that a lot of people own. There's also Golden Retrievers, which are really cute, too. I don't know if it, if Labrador and Golden Retriever are the same thing. I mean, there's also Dalmatian, too. Yeah. I mean, they are really cute. They are kind of friendly. And my cousin used to own a Golden Retriever named Tigger. And he was kind of cute. He had big paws. Unfortunately, he died. Which was really sad, too. And one of my favorite golden retrievers is Doug from Up. I, it's from Pixar, so. Doug is, like, the cutest dog in the history of TV. Or actually movies, but Doug has like a talking voice collar and he's like, Hi there. My name is Doug. I have just met you and I love you. My master made me this collar so that I can talk. Squirrel! 
And I also like the scene from Up where Doug was hiding under Carl Fedrickson's porch. And then he said, I was hiding under your porch because I love you. Can I stay? Can you stay? Well, you are my dog, right? And I am your master. You are my master? Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, it was cute to have dogs in Up. The one dog that I actually hated from Up is Alpha. And Alpha was a very mean dog who was, um, I think it was a Doberman. Or Rottweiler. But I actually can do a good impression of Alpha from Up. Now, who knows the bar will get it? Theta. Damn it. Mayhaps you desire a little squirrel? Hey, Doug. Did you get that squirrel? And I remember um, the villain, Charles Munt, actually changed Alpha's squeaky voice because her collar was actually broken. And actually, Alpha's a boy, so... Alpha actually had a scarier voice, but Charles Muntz is a horrible character too, you know, in my opinion. But if you like Alpha or Charles Muntz, I respect your opinion. I was going to say that Labrador Retrievers come in many different colors like black, brown, and golden. But I think golden Retrievers have like more hair than the Labrador Retrievers. So, yeah. Number two is a Shizu. And I hear that these dogs are super fluffy. And super cute. They always come at you in a cute way. Like, if you go near one, then they start to get so eager and tired. What I like about Shizus is that they are very friendly dogs. One of my m mom's friends, who is the same one who owned the Yorkie, actually got a Shizu, and her name was Dixie. She actually rescued the dog somewhere and had babies. I would like to see Shizu babies. I also had an English teacher from ninth grade who actually owns this Shizu, and the dog's name was Lola. And what he actually did was quoted from a song, Copa Cabana. What he actually said was, her name is Lola, she was a Shizu, and yeah. I really like them. Sometimes they can be stubborn, but, you know, you gotta groom their hair right, you know. They love when you groom your hair. Their hair, actually. And my number one favorite dog breed is... Pug. And I love pug dogs. They are literally the cutest dogs in the world. I mean, they got chubby bodies, pig-like tails, droopy ears, and chubby cheeks, or squished up cheeks too, but I actually did a YouTube video one time in my, at my uncle's house, because, and his growling was really cute. It sounded like Donald Duck. Yeah, it was Oscar the Pug that I was talking about. Another thing that I love about pugs is they are kind of cute and, you know, there's a YouTuber that I watched before. I don't know his or her, his name, but he actually has more than one pug and his two favorite pugs are Max and Minnie, which are like the two cutest pugs that I ever heard of. He, this YouTuber also did like a Pug Avengers parody and 
pug party. Yeah. Pugs have a hard time breathing, but one good tip to know when it comes to having a pug dog is that you should leave the dog in an air-conditioned room or put it in a pool because they do have a hard time breathing. I also learned that pugs are very expensive or hard to find, but, you know, pug life. Well, that wraps up my top 10 video on my favorite dog breeds. And I love dogs, even though I don't have a dog, but some of my family members and friends do, so... Yeah. Well, that wraps up my top 10. This is Bacon Chris signing out.